Welcome to Empowerment Technologies with Miss IC. Hi everyone, so ngayon naman is Excel for two. We're in, uh, first topic natin is the multiple team. Okay, so last um, natin na pinag-aralan is the equal C. Now naman is uh, pupunta na tayo sa equal C for na multiple na if function. We're in, dito is sobrang madami na tayong if sa isang uh, formula. So makikita ulit natin na meron tayong notes dito. So all we need to do for this equal C is I Click natin yung edit notes, then let's copy this. Then, okay. Okay, so ang kailangan natin is may laman yung grade letter na kaapibat ng bawat average natin. We're in for 91. Dito sa kabilang gilid natin, ay makikita natin yung mga grade letter applicable or certain average. For for example, we have here yung 91, which is F6. So therefore, pag yung F6 natin is greater than 95, therefore, tayo ay A+. Plus. Pag naman yung F6 natin is greater than 90, bibigay nyo sa atin is A. So ibig sabihin, it's from 91 to 90, uh, 95, ang bibigay nyo sa atin ay A. So I have here the formula. So, magpapansin nyo na hindi lang siya uh, counting equals if. So, this one na multiple if natin, sobrang dami na natin if na ginagamit. Or sobrang dami na nung conditions na meron tayong ibinigay para dun sa ating function. Okay, so A. So, we can also use the autofill function for this one. Yeah. So, let's check. For example, Kelvin. So, ang average ni Kelvin ay 93. So, therefore, dapat, dapat siya ay nasa A. Which is tama. Okay. So, after that um, multiple if, punta na tayo sa equals rank. So, for this rank naman, kukunin natin yung ranking ng ating mga student based sa kanilang average. Okay, for the formula natin sa equals rank, or sa rank ay, sabi ko na, equals rank. Okay, so first na kailangan natin for this equals rank is, syempre, yung average. So for this one, ang average ni Dennis ay nasa F6. Then, comma, the next one is, i-compare natin sa average ng lahat. So, kaya natin yung gagawin, dapat sa lahat ay para from Dennis hanggang kay Benzar na average, may kukopyar natin siya. So, it's from F6 and then, ano column? So, F19. But wait! Okay, so dahil gusto natin hindi gagalaw si reference, gagamitin natin ay absolute. F ninety, and then last one is, ah, uh, descending pa siya or ascending. So pag descending zero, pag ascending ay one. So let's try. Type natin equals rank. So yung una is sure yung average kung kanino average kung kanino yung kailangan natin rank yun na average na ang gagamitin natin. So, for example, ito, kailangan natin ay yung rank ni Dennis. So, ibig sabihin, yung average ni Dennis ang gagamitin natin. Comma, and then, let's compare. Then, comma. Again, zero for the Sandy, one for the Sandy. So, let's use zero. Okay, second siya. So, let's try for Kelvin. So, equal to rank. And then, syempre, si Kelvin yung kailangan natin. So, we need the average of Kelvin. So, this one is F8. Then, comma. So, same tayo. 
gave the news that I've pulled, then I record, then pop up, then zero again because we want the descending shaft. So number one to Kelvin to say 93. Okay? So tama siya. So let's just change this one. Doing nothing absolute so that it really is the full function or not a full feature. It's so pwede natin siya itra. Okay, so that's how we use the wrap function. Again, the right click again. Okay, again, the formula is equal to wrap. So ito yung formula natin to get the ranking of the student or any kind of ranking. Okay, so first one is yung average. So for this example, nagagawin ko is yung K Dennis, so F6. Dahil si Dennis, average nga yun na sa cell F6. Okay, and then the absolute value ng ating range. So kung hanggang saan, okay, just don't forget to use the absolute value so that we can use yung ating uh, yeah. So we use zero because we want it to be descending. Okay, so that's how we use the rank. Okay, let's proceed to equals counting. Okay, kung kanina, we already used the equals count. We're in a discussion dun sa basic na functions, Excel functions. So this one, we will use the county. Um, Kasi ang gusto natin is binangin natin kung ilan yung naka-F, kung ilan yung naka-D, kung ilan yung naka-C, mod B, and so on. So, hindi na siya kakayanin nung ating equals count lang. So, ang kailangan na natin is the equals count here because we have conditional. So, sa equals count kasi, uh, binilang lang niya kung ilan yung main value. But this one, we want na i-count niya yung may condition na tayo. Eh. I-count niya kung naka-F, i-count niya kung naka-D ba or what. So, for that reason, equals count yung inagamit natin. Okay, so for equals count if, Okay, ang una natin kailangan is the range daw. Okay, so ibig sabihin, dito yun sa grade letter natin. Sa I, I6 to I16, I19. So, absolute value again. Okay, so bakit yun yung ginamit natin? Kasi dun natin hahanapin yung uh, grade letter. Dun kasi nakalagay yung mga grade letter natin for this table natin. And then, next one is the criteria. So, it's M5. Where it is? Okay, M5 kasi ang inahanap natin ay si M. Okay, so wala bang naka-F? Wait, saya. Okay, next one is drag na lang natin siya. Ayan. So, makikita natin. Walang naka-C plus. Yes, walang naka-C plus. Okay. So, for the total, we can use the sum. Total natin lahat. Okay. We have 14 students to... Okay. So, yan yung function na ating equals count if. So, same lang din siya ng equals count for in nagbibi lang siya but this count if meron tayong condition. For example nito, okay, again dito tingin, dalang kailangan natin ay bitangin yung F so dito lang natin siya makikita sa Greek letter. So, again absolute value so I6 I19 then comma so, kaya siya F5 dahil itong function natin na F5 o yung data natin na F5 na sa M5. Okay? Next one. Okay, average if. So, for average if is just the same as count if. Ang dito naman ay i-average natin. Similar pala as count if. 
dito is i-average naman natin yung average ng nakakuha ng F, nakakuha ng D, ng D plus. So, for this one, formula is equals average A. Okay, so first na need natin for equals average if is yung range kung saan natin makikita yung ating uh, grade letter. So, yun yung magiging una natin basihan for this one. S I S I I S 90. Okay, and then next is kung ano ba yung hinahanap natin. So, this one is F M5. Kasi hinahanap natin yung mga average na nakukuha ng, ng F. Okay, and then tama. So, this one, so kung sa count if, binilang lang natin siya. Dito kasi is kailangan natin yung average. So, ibig sabihin, kailanganin natin yung datas na to. Okay, don't forget to we need the absolute 90. Yeah. So, let's try to use this one. Input natin. Equals if. I'm sorry. Equals average if. Average if. Okay, so again, this yung una is ito. Dahil dito natin makikita yung grade letter. Okay, don't forget na yung absolute. Highlight and then press F4. Then after, okay, we need kung anong value yung kailangan natin, which is yung mga lahat ng naka-F. And then, syempre, we need the average. Para ma-average ma natin yung mga average nila. is E9. Okay? Tama. And then, we can drag it. Okay. So, mapapansin nyo dito. Nagtago ni aking. Ayan. So, mapapansin nyo dito. Binigyan niya tayo ng ito. So, mapapansin nyo, yes, medyo tama naman siya kasi wala naman siyang isosol dahil yun ay zero. Pero dahil medyo pangit tignan pag ganun, So, pwede naman natin siyang remedyohan para hindi error yung ibigay niya sa atin. So, para sa ganong problem, for example, zero, walang value, walang, wala talaga siyang, uh, walang nakakuha ng A+, plus, walang nakakuha ng C+. Plus. So, para hindi error yung ibigay niya sa atin, so we can use this formula. Okay, so, equals, so, if error, Ibig sabihin, pag zero, yung ibibigay niya. So, average if. Okay. So, same ng formula kanina. I. Then, I. I. T. Then, M5. F. It. Okay, and then pag close parenthesis, lagyan natin na zero. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin yan, pag error, gaya nito, sa halip na error or hashtag ganyan ang ilagay niya, ganito na ang ilalagay niya. Zero ang ilalagay niya. So, let's just try to edit yung formula. Dito na lang para mas madali. Okay. If error, open parenthesis, then comma, okay naman siya. Okay. Itin na natin. If error, average if, okay, let's put this one. Kailangan natin. Ito. Ang absolute. 
and sama oke okay, gitu saya and average okay, and then close parenthesis comma zero yeah. okay so makikita nyo zero na siya so mas okay siya tingnan compare sa error yung makikita natin. So, using that, uh, naging zero na lang siya instead of that error na lumalabas pa sa atin. Okay. Okay, next one is the is function. So, for this is function, so yeah, is number, for example, 95. Okay, let's try the equals is number so tinatanong niya kung number so it check down whether value is a number so true pero pag ginawa ko tong e magpo false na siya okay so is error so this one is more on answering the true or false so logic ito Pero once na nilagay natin na hashtag not applicable Ayan, true na siya. Next one is blank. Okay, is blank. So it tells whether our our cell is blank or not. So if pinatis natin naman so for is even okay, go to the is even okay, for is even zero yeah, yeah true. but if you know that it should be it's false because is not <laughs> yeah. and then last one is is logical okay, mostly dito it's for the boolean logic we're in mga logic yung sagot for a lot of time is true or false. Okay, that's right. Yeah, true. Okay, so ganun lang tayo sa syntax. Yun yung uh, mostly ginagamit natin siya for mga logical type of table. Yeah. Okay, next one is conditional formatting. So for this conditional formatting, pwede natin kasing i-format, especially if ganito nakadami yung datas natin at mahihirap pa na tayong maghanap, we can use the conditional formatting. All we need to do is just to select. For example, gusto natin na pag-qualified, lalagay is green and then pag not qualified is red. So, let's just go to home. So, select lang. Itong sa scholarship natin, so select lang natin siya. And then, let's go to home. We have here, you can see the conditional formatting additional formatting tab for ribbon and then okay, okay so highlight okay so lagay natin na equal to qualified pero gusto natin D yan so next naman is equal to paren pero gusto naman natin this na yung Okay, so ganun siya. Ganun natin siya nagkagamit. So, we can also do some formatting color scale. Pag gusto natin in a color. Or pag gusto natin na pag greater than pag greater than uh, 75 green. Ayan. So, okay na yan. Then, pag gusto naman natin na less than 75 ay red so may ikon sa 70 kasi pasado pa rin siya sama na natin sama na natin siya sa green or yellow na natin siya dahil 75 siya so sa ganong way we can do this condition na format 
can also do this icon. For example, pag equal siya sa E, mga E, e yellow natin siya. So, depende sa kung ano yung gusto nyo format niya para mas maganda siya tingnan, mas presentable, at mas madali makita. Press bar, gradient. Okay. Try natin. Ayan. So, meron na tayong conditional formatting. Okay, the last part is the data validation. We're in, we can use this para meron tayo ng drop-down button. So, instead of itatype pa natin siya isa sa so, pwede naman tayo maglagay. For example, the gender. Okay, so meron din tayo dito sa 20.2 where in nandito yung list natin na pwede natin magamit. Okay, so balik tayo sa 20.1. So for data na validation, punta lang tayo sa data and then look for the data validation. Okay, so ikiklik lang natin siya. So nandito siya sa data tools ribbon. And then look for the data validation. So this any value, papalitan lang natin siya ng list. Kung gusto natin na may drop down button tayo. Okay, so kailangan natin is this one for the gender. Gender. Okay. Okay, pwede natin siya i-drag para padami. Ayan, so pwede na yan. Okay, gawin init natin siya for this course naman. Take the validation. For any value, change it to list. And then, transfer. So, pag dito validation, dapat meron din tayo um, na spreadsheet or the data or yung details or your list na gagamitin natin. Then, highlight. That's okay. So, same with the year, we can do that. Yan. So, 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 section natin. So, ganun lang for data validation. All we need to do is to go dito sa ating data, data tab. Okay, number one is data tab. And then, look for the data validation. Okay, so once na nandun na tayo, nakita na natin siya. Okay, yan na siya. So, yung any value, to change lang natin ang list. And then after, select natin yung range natin. And then, press enter. Okay, so ganun na yung ginagawa natin for data validation. Okay, so that's all for uh, basic, uh, basic Excel functions and formula for empowerment technology.